So last episode, we talked about、um, the final part of preparing textual material. Now, before you import the the Latitude into Latitude E,、uh, you need to prepare your、um, you need to put your model into good state. Now, if you have a few things, first of all, you need to have all the layers visible. Because if it's invisible, Live Two D will not pick it up. However, you can leave them in groups. Like in in if you have like put them in group folders, you can leave them in. But it's generally a bad practice,、um, in my opinion. So、um, it's better like if if you need to have your source file organized, save it as a separate PSD. One for import. One one keeps as the backup, right? And have your import PSD to let to prepare everything in the best state for Live Two D, including.、Um, Including naming them,、uh, I don't name my layer here. Not all of them, but、uh, you can always name them later. But as you import in Live 2D, Live 2D will take whatever your layer name and give the the piece a、uh, label. So it basically it, it it inherits a name from here. So it's better if you name it here.、Uh, otherwise, you can always change name later, or you can work with no, no、uh, name at all, which I, sometimes I do with that. So、um, have all the layers shown visible, and if you have clipping mask layers at this point, for beginners, I would say just merge all of them. Do not leave them. Like you, there are clipping functions in Live 2D, and we will be using them. But it's better not have them. Besides, it adds a, quite a bit of rendering、uh, power requirements if you have too many clipping layers. Which means that later on, if you use your、um, model in Live Three D Viewer or use it in some Unity games,、um, it will cost a lot of power. So it's better it's better to not have clipping layers at this point. And also, if you have some、uh, la like shade or highlight screen overlay layer that blends、uh, with the effect with the layer effect, I would say merge them.、Uh, yeah, I would say merge them and. If you have to, you can always clip and have transparent those layers, but it's better to not have your、uh, your screen layers here or shade layers here. All right, so、uh, let's not play with those. I mean, we're still we're we're still talking about a beginner's level、um, uh, tutorial, right? So let's leave out everything. If you don't know completely, don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. All right, it's just some some、uh, advanced stuff. Uh, but if you're taking an anime screenshot and you're putting in Latvian model, we shouldn't worry about that. So let's have everything opacity 100%.、Uh, let's have、uh, fill 100%.、Uh, no blend effects and name them if you like.、Uh, but definitely、uh, make them visible. Don't worry about this model right here. I, I know it looks hideous, but、um, let it be. And yeah, just clean and tidy. A clear list of what the layers are. So once you're ready, save that, and we can move on to Live 2D. Now you don't you may not want to close Photoshop so soon because we might come back here to do something、uh, when things don't go right. So you can keep、uh, Photoshop open for now. So let's get into Modeler. So let's see. Right here, I'm using the Live 2D Modeler Cubism 2.1.10. Uh, 64 bits, and this is the pro for indie version. So this is not the completely free trial version.、Uh, it shouldn't matter in this tutorial whether you are paid or、uh, the pro or free or for indie or、uh, complete completely free version. It shouldn't matter,、uh, except for one point, which I'll talk immediately. So usually it shouldn't be a problem. So let's say let's see if we're ready for import, right? Um, I will skip all the tedious details about the parts and deforming palette. What does this do? What does this button do?、Uh, I'll talk. I'll talk about them if we come across them on the way. Otherwise, I'll just leave them for now.、Uh, the two basic things I want to talk about is that、uh, the size of this canvas and also the color of it. So you can you can see it's kind of beige color because I usually go with beige color when I work with stuff.、Um, if you don't like that, if you want to change color, just click the little square at the bottom left of the canvas, and you can see there's a color. This little white. It should be white for you, and for beige for mine. So this is where you select color and change its background color. Now I can go with white for now. So this is white, and if if it's not square, or it's rectangle, or whatever horizontal or, or、uh, landscape portrait,、um, if you have a preference,、uh, this is how you change it. 
All right, for my case, since my model is like chest up or almost like collarbone and up, so I would have to take a square one. If I'm working with a full body that's knees up or just full body size, I would have a narrow one. So currently I'll go with square. If you want to change that, just it's over here at file, document settings, and number of pixels, which basically means the canvas size. Okay, so also uh, take notice of the zoom factor. Zoom vector in Live 2D means that um, the, the zoom that you're currently in. So night flight layer, all right? Uh, if you want to know exactly how big your canvas is, zoom 200% and take a look. If this is too big, you can go back and shrink it. So if that's ready for you, now we can move on to import. Browse your PSD file, drag and drop into um, Live 2D uh, modeler, and there you go. You should see your uh, layers all separated into this map which I call the texture map all right like you call it texture material uh, I, I refer as a texture map each of this is a texture it's a um, yes it's a texture so so here are two possibilities at this point you may be completely packed on the square or you may have a lot of side a, a lot of space the most important thing is, well, Live 2D for advanced usage, it's always a struggle with space. You don't want to have too many big texture materials, even if you have like the pro version, which you can go up to 4096, which is like this. Okay, this is a 4096 by 4096 canvas, and this is how much space I'm taking. Now, you don't want to, you know, it's generate a lot of uh, size for a project right your 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 unity uh programmer will bitch about that so um let's not have that let's go by the smallest possible now 2048 i have comfort very comfortably a lot of spare space but if i go to by 1024 and okay now you seems all filled well if it's all filled just right it's ready to go um uh, not quite because as you can see here this this uh, figure right here is the most important thing about Live 3D imports. You need to have this resize ratio at 100%. I've been uh, accepting, I've been uh, receiving comments and questions asking me how come their model looks gritty, looks glitchy, looks distorted, and cor almost like corrupted, corrupted uh, image file. And why is that after the import? Well, that's probably because this resource ratio is 100%. Now, why isn't it 100%? Can I change it? Can I drag this slide bar? No, you can't. You cannot change the number uh, manually. What you need to do is, well, this number reflects how much is are your all your pieces resized or reduced in size in order to fit into the current canvas, 1024 by 1024. Okay, so um, if you are using the free version, I forgot right now if your limit is 1024 or 2048, but regardless of what it is, if you have a major size struggle, go back to Photoshop and resize your source file instead of doing anything here, which is you know too advanced for for even for me. Uh, I don't I don't usually tweak with these numbers to fit things at this point, but um, since I can afford it, I'll go by 2048. If you cannot then I would say your model is probably too big for you to work with. And I don't know what kind of application you will do, but you probably will need such a big file. All right. So shrink it down. Like even this is too big for me. Like I've checked with my, uh, the, you, you guys have seen, seen this model in, in Live 3D Viewer as a finished product. And I, I think it's totally like more than, more than enough for myself uh, for a lot of applications. So if you say like you're making a visual novel in Unity, um, I would say it's probably too much so if you can fit a 1024 comfortably it's probably a big enough file and if you need 2048 and if even 2048 is not enough for you then probably you're working with something that's too big so as beginners let's go by whatever is comfortable um, I'll talk about these later if you want to learn ahead you can go to the official live 2d um, website or there's a manual and currently the manual is being translated into English, Korean, Chinese. And uh, if those if Japanese don't work with you, uh, those will help you out uh, to figure out what these numbers are. But otherwise, if you're you are a beginner, don't worry about them. Go with the default. 
if your polygons look about like this, you're okay. The only weird case that would happen is that why are my blue boxes so big? Like this piece right here, why is, why is the texture so small? And this piece is taking up such a big box here that's taking up all the space. Um, very inefficient use of space and it's a bad practice in the long run. But um, the reason being so is because if I zoom in, I can check, well, there are like some ugly uh, pixel dirt here, dust here. So this is the reason why I actually picked it up and thought, well, maybe this is one piece and the user needs it. But, you know, you don't. And this piece here, this is legit. This is the highlights on the iris and some of them looks fake but is legit um everything should be here otherwise now uh yeah as you can see i after i made all the layers visible i forgot to save the file which this save this psd save yeah you can check right here some of the layers are not with the eye icon which means that is hidden like this these mouths here these mouths are all hidden and obviously th they aren't showing up here okay so if you can check if you have the same problem go back turn it on save it and throw it back in so um you know i, I i'll just move on with it but i'll fix it later on so uh this is about it if you're okay with this if everything's comfortably spacious and you can just press okay and light 3d will set it up for you now mine looks like normal um like a, a very decent, uh, like completed, uh, nice, nice picture. Whereas yours probably would have all the mouthpieces and eyepieces showing up everywhere. Now that's uh, obviously that's because my eyepieces are not completed. Uh, the full list is not in. But um, if yours is fully completed, you should see a bunch of um, crazy stuff happening. But don't worry about it. We'll get into it right away. All right. But I'll leave it for next episode. So I'll see you guys later.